Hey, what's going on guys? Coming again in the year. In this video, we're going to implement a command to list all the files or games that we have uh, available within our, uh, within our operating system game OS. So this is something very similar to how it's done in Linux, which much more simplified, obviously, but uh, I think you will get the point uh, along this tutorial. So uh, good news is that uh, when I've been uh, when I've been making a video on reference and variables from a certain given uh, physical address in the memory that can be referenced by variable names so it's not in the same file uh, i've been demonstrating uh how to how we can uh, create a routine that would be um uh, that would be actually uh doing this uh would be printing those files so we have files in file called files.asm here here it is and we need to list all all the files that we have here but uh, bear in mind the fact that this list command is going to be just like another game so we need to add a, an entry for it and uh, we need to alter the source code so at some point this might be a sort of a tutorial on how to add new game to the game OS so it's kind of like we're writing the very first application uh, to work with our operating system. It's a bit of a like might be treated as the system uh, as the system utility at some point. So anyway, let's go. I want to make I want to uh, I want this list command to be the very first on the list. So I say DB. So I don't know. We can call it LS just like in Linux, and probably yeah. I love Linux. I'll go for the, for, for this. So we need uh, to have exactly a bytes uh, offset. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And now in shell ASM here down below um, here. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a pain to reset all of this stuff, but but it's worth it. So this is going to be three offset this is going to be two multiplied by offset we're holding a sec now it's going to be four not two okay yeah this is going to be just files address plus offset and this is going to be just files address great and now um so I, I didn't no uh, hold on a sec another important thing so let's go to the memory so now yeah it's it's a real pain to add something new especially not at the end but yeah we'll, we'll go for it basically so here oh no no sorry the addresses are still the same so here uh so this would be okay this is gonna be bricks this is going to be bricks this is going to be tetros this is going to be snake and this is going to be a last command five and here sector seven okay now just want to calculate the offset properly okay so Let's take a zero zero plus two hundred two hundred, which is five hundred and twelve bytes in decimal. So we have C zero zero. So here, here, we have zero C zero zero and then if i say plus 200 minus 1 dff yeah so 0 dff okay and another 512 bytes okay and now to make this like real uh we need to go to run shell and 
yeah so we didn't yet create a file so let's create one uh, so let's create a new file let's call it ls.asm so yeah as far as this is the system usually it would be along with the games uh, along with this kind of guys not in the games folder I think that's fairly fairly okay um, so assemble game list and here assemble let's call it system utilities because there would be more I believe uh, just let me check if I spell this one properly all right and yeah utility so, uh, hope to be hope to be okay system utilities okay so nas minus f bin ls dot asm minus o uh, minus o ls dot bin okay yeah and by the way i also wanted to yeah why don't why can't i see part 10 in the games uh i call it that these images which is not essentially true actually these are the binaries it's it's doesn't matter really it doesn't mean anything but just just want to make them binary uh, uh, anyway it's it's a binary data so yeah and now here so first of all here i want to set this to binary 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 and now shell bin and here ls dot bin okay okay or even um even like this should be fine okay great so um what else so now this would be one two three sector four which it is okay so yeah now let's quickly draft what we should have here so i'm going to the shell so the initializing part would be the same uh up to yeah i want to print yeah up to setting up the text mode so here we go here we have the list command okay and save and then uh, at the very end we need to make sure it's gonna be 512 bytes long so like this and already we can go for a test uh, to check whether the offsets file offset file name offsets are working properly or not so snake should still result in snake which is absolutely fantastic and bricks still should result oh my god why do you can't see the bricks why oh hold on a sec did I No, I did the, I did put this one in yeah also yeah we need to erase a last dot bin but what has gone wrong with so if snake is still there what about Tetris not found Hmm. Um, guys, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm missing something definitely. I'm not sure what exactly. So hold on a sec, please. 
Okay, yeah, it seems like uh, I've managed to fix this stuff by the way uh, using our call print string uh, our print print files for debugging so let me just show you so it should be three three times offset instead of four times offset so this is the number how many times we should take the offset not the byte not the byte offset that I just sorry okay so here I just print uh, within the shell I call this print files and it gives now it sees all the files it it, it, it could see only first two initially and yeah and I'm not sure but Tetris yeah now it can play Tetris okay so and now it should also be capable of playing bricks as well so playing bricks okay this is it okay awesome perfect so what else so now we don't need this print files here okay and now we can finally so uh, as far as we can run the games while they have shift to yeah like so the sectors has been shifted by one so now this is how it looks like so alas sector four and so on um yeah by the way uh okay yeah just uh, i better talk about this at the very end so more chances that more of you guys would listen to that actually okay so now let's grab um let's grab shell this print files okay and it also relies on the print string okay so control s save files uh no we don't need files anymore ls asm so here and also we need to grab the print string from here copy and because because print files relies on print string obviously it's natural all right so and after all after so now it would just stuck there i believe um or it, whatever might happen basically so uh yeah actually here hold on a sec here we want to we need to explicitly uh, explicitly call print files and then let's just stuck in the infinite loop just just for now okay and now if i print list it should list all the games ah uh, man alas alas why do you go for a snake what the heck is going on uh this is strange snake is also going oh whoa 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 this is horrible run um oh that's because hold on a sec just i i got the errors uh on assembling 33 file list undefined oh whoa 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 yeah so uh i need also this file list copy and it's a bit of a duplication here but anyway so here we'll have variables um symbol new line is not defined okay yeah i just i just missed some variables copy so yeah seems like no errors now okay finger crossed fingers crossed and ls <laughs> oh man it's almost like matrix but unfortunately not, not exactly what we wanted to have um whoa 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 don't do this please please don't okay uh at very list i can uh, ask whether snake is still working okay so the offsets for for the rest uh of games seems to be fine okay but um Oh, file address is not defined, obviously. 
Okay, so I need to define the file address. Oh, oops, nope, copy. Um, I didn't actually need all of this. Oh my God, I've copy pasted so much of stuff, but I don't need, uh, I only need the shell segment, by the way. So I don't need the boot sector segment, don't need this one, don't need this one, offset. I need an offset, right? But I don't need enter key, don't need backspace key. Okay. And LS. Man, you must be kidding me. Mm. Okay, what am I doing wrong? So, files address. So, I call the print files. Okay. Oh, man. Hold on a sec. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't specify any parameters, did I? Game counter. Uh, okay, so here to assign so file list plus BX. Mm. So probably this files address gets loaded not the most okay guys just hold on a second to figure out what's wrong here okay guys, I didn't, uh, okay guys I didn't even manage to fix this but at least I figure out that the problem of why this why this gibberish has been printed is because uh, from this uh, location in memory um the way yeah just should print uh oh hold on a sec so it is actually it runs in a boot sector hold on a sec yeah i just want to make a little more test hold on okay yeah guys yeah just probably i'm a bit tired already so uh here are, here are the few things. Uh, I added clean direction flag. Well, even though it's not essential here, but anyway. Uh, also, the origin was copy pasted from from this shell, and obviously, shell has a different origin. So, alas, it's just like another yet another boot sector game. It like it it runs in the books in the boot sector, like whatever other application uh, within game OS. And obviously, we need to increment BX by two, not by the offset, as I thought, you know, because it's just uh, the number of bytes. So the first, like plus two bytes, plus so on. So we need so this plus BX gives like so. Uh, uh, this is file list index by zero. File list index by one would it be file list plus two, referencing this element. Uh, uh, file list the third element would be file list plus four and this would be this element and uh, yeah we do reference the value flx and this value is then treated to be uh, is actually the pointer to the uh, to oh my god where are them to this false so eventually eventually what we have here um, yeah eventually we are uh, finally capable of saying ls and we have the list of commands that's pretty it okay so uh i i've realized that yeah uh, we can get away from here for now we'll fix this just right in a moment um so let's get rid of unnecessary definitions here let's actually call um files has been I just want to call it list for some reason because I don't know one two three four five six seven eight I just uh, I know I love Linux but I don't know I feel like lit type in list is more appropriate here for some at some point okay so let's rename this one to list as well and here in the run 
in the run control F ls replace with list replace all save and list we got it okay and okay tetris all right so yeah uh now uh we actually want to to jump back to where our shell is okay so so here we want to define shell segment so shell segment and we're going to be making a far jump so shell segment for far jump save and it's going to be 800s because multiplied by hexadecimal 10 would be given eight thousands plus offset zero and that would be the real physical address of where the shell is here all right so define and here we want to jump to shell segment shell segment and offset zero and here we want to go back return to shell go back to shell and by the way this is uh exactly what should be happening within the game if you're right if you're creating a boot sector game so in order to escape from that game we need to go back to shell and we need to use this shell segment here so that's how if you're developing a game and you want a boot sector game and you want that game to return back to game os operating uh, to game os shell this this you need to perform this jump when your game ends so that's the requisity that's quite pretty important okay and now let's go for a list and yeah it just happens too fast because we didn't see the output so we need to use for user input uh in order to uh like press any key to return to shell so to to avoid this uh being instant so let me just recall get the user input so here is somewhere enter key to read keystroke read single key yeah so this is it and basically we as far as this is the any key we don't need to compare anything we don't need doing anything so we just say like this uh, uh, let's say wait for any key to be pressed and let's check if this is still working so list and press the game go back to shell and now we can also specify like so here let's create another variable so press any key define bytes press any key to return to shell okay this is it and we also want to print this so after we say move as i press any key and call print string so here we want to output uh all the files available available so here point s i to press any key variable right and here print press 
any key message. All right, so this is kind of it. And I think our list command is now ready. So list, okay, press any key to return to shell. Awesome, and one more little thing. I just want to add 10, 13 here. So it would go to slightly lower. So list, uh, sorry, I did something horribly wrong. Oh, what have I done? 10, 13, list. Yeah, now this is perfect. So press any key to return to shell. And this is the core idea behind this entire thing that, we've been that we've, we have been building for such a long time, guys. So you see like now the list command operates just like the game would operate. But instead of actually playing a game, we have a useful system utility to print like all the files that are available uh, within our operating system. That's, that's kind of pretty it, okay? So yeah, that's exactly what, what we wanted to obtain basically. And yeah, this is really cool, I believe. So we press any key, we, we go back to shell we can play snake now go back and again list the games so what else games what else games can we play okay and yeah uh, the final thing to uh change is uh welcome so i just want i don't like how this looks um probably uh i would also like to implement the help command which is gonna be implement but yeah actually yeah help doesn't make sense it could have could have been making sense uh for printing the commands but depending on the distribution of this operating system so like linux distros it might contain different set of commands so yeah and actually commands and the games are literally the same so yeah i probably Okay, so let's just go to shell. I'm almost done, guys. Sorry, uh, I'm almost done. So... Okay, just pause the video for a while. Just want to make it perfect so I love it perfectly well, okay? Okay, so probably leave it as is, minimalist and straightforward. And probably one day we could add some intro, maybe even animation-like stuff or the name of operating system to the bootloader, probably waiting for user input to hit enter and then it would just jump to the shell and that's pretty it. So one more time, list. We got it. Let's play bricks. Uh, oh, hold on a sec, by the way. Yeah, if I just say again, list. Yeah, and yeah, now say bricks. And here we go. Okay, guys, so this is it from my side. And uh, now I will do my best to connect as many games as I can to this game OS operating system. So again, just to give a bit of an idea, uh, so what am I gonna be changing within the games is uh, I'm gonna be changing, uh, so, th so they would jump back to the shell segment, just like, just like this list command does. And for some games, uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's needed to set up the data segment and the extra segment, uh, because sometimes they do rely on whatever state they have just to just to shave a few bytes and uh, and as far as the data segment and uh, extra segment getting uh, reinitialized because of our shell 
they're no longer working. That's one of the reasons, at the very least, that I figure out there might be there might be some more. There are really complicated boot sector games that I have no idea even how they work. So I didn't yet manage to. Uh, the only number of games I've managed to connect now is three. I have one more which has a bit of a problems. That's the soccer bound game. But anyway. Uh, I will now try to connect as many games as I can and in the next video we'll have an ultimate uh, demonstration of how the game OS is running on the real hardware. So stay tuned, uh, I hope to impress you with that sort of a thing when you see the full blown stuff and again like when it runs on real hardware it really gets more impressive. So this is it from my side guys, thanks for watching, until the next time and take care.